defensive end, number 91, Stefan Tuitt. Garoppolo gets buried by Stefan Tuitt. Stefan Tuitt sacks Garoppolo. Stefan Tuitt is so quick and so good with his hands. All right, I actually would like to start and go back to your rookie training camp and just take me through what it was like to maybe go through a John Mitchell boot camp and just learning the ropes of being an NFL player. Well, the John Mitchell boot camp wasn't easy, <laughs> but um, you know, that was a legendary coach. So uh, he coached some legendary guys. He was a Super Bowl winner. He'd been around a lot of winning football teams. So everything he said was, you know, right on. I just had my eyes and well, eyes wide open, ears wide open, just kept my head down and try to put my head in my playbook and learn as much as it plays and you know, try to be as much help as I can as a rookie. How much have you grown since then as a player? I would probably say a lot. Um, I've always been the youngest in what I do, even though I've been the biggest. <laughs> but uh, I definitely, you know, been drafted at 20. I was drafted at 20 years old, and uh, you know, I kind of grew up in the NFL, so you know, I got a, definitely got a chance to see a lot of things from different perspectives. Now, um, you can't say a record, but what do you measure in terms of a defense being successful? Well. Winning the Super Bowl, that's definitely one of them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and being able to, uh, you know, after that, being able to look at the lines. But I just think a dominant defensive performance. Um, um, just being able to just control the whole offense offensively when they pass, uh, when they run, anything they try to do is just kind of shutting them down to a certain extent that they feel like they can't do anything. And literally getting off the field every third down. Empty set for Russell Wilson. He's back with a sack. Big rush. He's hit again. It's down at the 41, and again, it's Stephon Tuitt. You are tied for the team lead in sacks and tackles for loss. What does that say about you so far through five games? I'm kind of pissed at myself. I left two out there, so. <laughs> you want that number to be higher. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in chase mode no more. They tied up with me, but uh, you know, I, we, I'm surrounded by great football players. Um, like I said, my whole life, I've been kind of surrounded by great football players, so this is not new to me, but. You know, T.J. Watt, Cam Hayward, Bud Dupree, you know, Javon Hargrave in the lineup, and Tyson Alonzo, Dan, those guys coming along too just as fine. You know, Bush in the back. You know, my my role when I go into a game is just to create as much chaos and, you know, dis disruption as possible. And uh, I've always been doing that since I've been here. So um, it's nice to get a little acknowledgement from it, but I really don't care. I don't want to get some wins. I'll probably be better. <laughs> Uh, I know the past few years, getting to the quarterback wasn't a problem, creating that pressure in terms of sacks and whatnot. With the interceptions, though, you guys are third in the entire league in interceptions so far. Does that mean you guys are maybe taking that next step of the splash plays and what you have been working at? Yeah, I remember saying that to you, I think, earlier this year in training camp. Yeah, that's basically what we really needed to do to try to, you know, take that next step that I know that we could get to. And I think we got a lot of guys that's doing that. Um, you know, especially when I found some guys to be able to do that and some guys that also been here that um, been, been on the team and been in the system for a while. And I think the pressure and it is creating that, um, you know, that time in between quarterback and receiver and the DBs are in the right places at the right time. I know following from what they coach us, are teaching them and what they're practicing. You see, it, you see it coming along. You mentioned Javon Hargrave. How underrated is he? Um, super underrated. You know, that guy is very good and uh, he got built in leverage, you could tell, you know, <laughs> you could tell by his steps and, uh, you know, he just, uh, he's everything you want from that, you know, nose tackle one, um, one technique uh, spot and he's doing a great job. And he's just trucking along, he'll be just fine. I know it was just last year you faced the Chargers, not the outcome that you yeah. definitely wanted, but what has changed about them or what has not changed in terms of their offense? Well, Phillip Rivers is still a quarterback, so that did a change. Um, I think, uh, you know, offensively, these guys got, you know, big time playmaking ability. They got, you know, a really good receiver. They got, um, you know, two good running backs. Um, you know, these guys got some playmakers on the side of the ball that we got to make sure we stop. And I think they also got Watt brother too, a fullback. So yeah. it'll be nice to go against him and give him a couple blows. <laughs> Did DJ tell you to say that? No, I think we all just saying this. See <laughs> You're saying it in your head. <laughs> In terms of the Steelers, you mentioned the offense for the Chargers, Phillip Rivers. The other teams can't say, all right, Ben Roethlisberger this year, three different quarterbacks. What does that do to the defense in terms of maybe how you guys prepare? Or does it not change how you prepare? Well, of course that changed how you prepare. You know, that was a Hall of Fame quarterback we had. So, you know, you got guys that's coming in, stepping up, who was following and shadowing him. 
Um, you know, Mason is doing a good job, um, you know, especially getting his feet wet, getting thrown in the fire. I thought he was doing a pretty good job. You know, he got that big hit this past game. But I think he's going to bounce back from that. I think uh, uh, Doug, I think, who came in after him, did a great job, you know, just trying to get the ball out and, you know, taking those chances that we needed at the game. So I'm very confident in the quarterbacks we have. I think we even got a former first-round draft pick quarterback who uh, could have an opportunity, too. It all depends how they do it over there, how they handle it. But I think... Uh, you know, I think our offensive coordinator got some, um, you know, he's a good coach and he get those guys prepared.